good afternoon church family and friends loved ones visitors whomever you may be watching this is our two o'clock Monday afternoon devotional time here at the Op Church of Christ my name is Trey Poole I'm the minister of the gospel right here at and for the Op Church of Christ and I'm excited to be with you today just want to take a couple of moments and share a, a couple of thoughts with some scriptures with you maybe to build you up to encourage you maybe to realign and refocus our hearts and our minds uh, on the Word of God together this afternoon and this is something that I've seen throughout the Bible about God. You see, He does not want us to worry. God does not want us to worry and sit around with troubled hearts and with troubled minds. Now, there is certainly enough going on in our world, uh, in our country, and, and even in each of our lives to give us plenty of reasons to have troubled hearts. It's comforting to know, though, that we can have the peace of God that passes all understanding to guard or protect our hearts and our minds if we will truly believe and trust, have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I find it a very huge relief to give my worries, my fears, my cares, my concerns, my problems over to God. In fact, I believe that we ought to pray as if everything depended upon God and work as if everything depended upon us. And that is so very true. I'm reminded of Peter's words in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, where the scripture says, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. And Jesus told his disciples, as he was encouraging them, comforting them, as he was facing crucifixion, he was more concerned about them really than he was him, him, his own self. John chapter 14, verse 1, Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now, I like that first statement there in that verse. Don't let your heart be troubled. You're in control of that. You can allow your heart to be troubled, or you can do as Jesus said here. Don't allow it. Don't allow your heart to be troubled. So what's the remedy? What's the cure? A reminder from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. We've got to trust God with all of our heart, with every ounce. Not 50%, not 75%, not even 99 and 3 quarters percent. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. One final scripture and then we'll close it out. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 2. There the scripture says, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. That's one of the precious promises of God. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's, that's confident building. Blessed assurance to know that God is there with us. So today, there may be many, many different reasons to have a troubled, worried heart, a troubled and worried mind, but don't let your heart be troubled. You focus on your faith over fear, wisdom over worry, and prayer over panic. Well, we love you. God bless you. Church family, if you need me, you know that I'm here. You can call me, send me a message, reach out to me. Whatever it is I can do, I will do it for you. Our elders, they are available as well. If you need help, need some assistance in any way, please let us know how, and we'll be happy to serve you. Let's take care of each other. Stay connected. Stay grounded. And remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Well, again, we love you. Take care, and we'll see you again soon.